Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. I'm doing your monthly psychic tarot reading, tuning in to the month of May, the energies, and seeing what divine messages of guidance come through for Libras. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. So let me get my little cheat sheet here of what the spread is. Okay, so the overall energy of the month of May for Libra is the King of Wands in reverse. Interesting. A lack of action. Um, oh. Okay, it looks like... It looks like you're healing in the month of May. Looks like you're not making moves. You're, you feel guarded. The thing is that I really like that showed up in the overall energy is the wheel. It feels like you are taking control of that wheel. Something is shifting in your favor in the month of May. I'm really drawn to the Ankh uh, symbol, uh, sanctuary. Feels like you're bringing heaven to earth, a sanctuary, um, a safe space for yourself. And there's this guardedness. It feels like there's something that you've been fighting some battle that you've been going it it feels like you're done it's time to rest the battle's over it looks like um somewhat it looks like you're getting out of some type of grieving in the month of may there's this defensiveness and healing uh or need to heal Something is turning around in your favor, but it doesn't feel like you have to uh, make a lot of moves to make this happen. Does that make sense? It feels like it isn't something that you have to actively do to create this. It feels like you've already done what was necessary to make the wheel turn in your favor. And it looks like, wow, it feels like a lot changes in the month of May. It feels like the beginning of the month, you're, there's exhaustion. You're completing some type of battle, um, getting out of some type of grief and loss. We'll find out more as we tune into the more specific messages, but it looks like at, by the end of the month, as you turn the wheel of fortune around, then you have energy. You're celebrating. You're joyful. You're happy. Happy home. Maybe even meeting someone. It feels like there's a big turn around this month. Something from fighting or healing from fighting healing from some type of grieving to joy and happiness so this feels like quite the pivot <laughs> libra wow all right let's continue on libra what the hidden blessings in the month of may is the nine of cups blessings coming in blessings upon blessings it doesn't feel very hidden it feels like these are a lot of blessings coming in something you're turning around some difficulty is shifting and it feels like you're uh going into the month of may it feels like oh my gosh 
and things turn around and blessings. It feels like uh, you can't miss this. I, I don't want you to feel like I don't want to miss the blessings. It feels like uh, the choices that you've made have led you to this point. Again, I'm getting that even though it's this is in the hidden blessings, I get that this it can't be hidden. It's that that yeah, can't be hidden. Can't um it feels like you don't have you can give up the fight. It feels like you've been fighting for a long time with that wounded warrior energy and the exhaustion at the beginning of the month. It feels like you can you you don't have to fight so much. You can breathe, um, let your guard down. And it looks like you're um, starting something that's going to be lasting. Whatever these blessings are, it doesn't feel like they're a flash in the pan. It feels like they're lasting. At least several of the blessings are something that kind of... Uh, blessings that keep on giving or keep on rolling out. Yeah, I'm not getting anything more specific, so I'll move on. That's beautiful, Libra. All right, what you're leaving behind in the month of May is the moon in reverse. A lot of confusion. A lot of um, uncertainty. A lot of hidden emotions it feels like a lot's coming to the surface a lot of things that were hidden feels like you're leaving behind the confusion feels like you're leaving behind um, uncertainty Whatever you've been battling and even upset about, grieving, that you're done taking action with at the beginning of the month, it feels like whatever that was had a lot of uncertainty and confusion wrapped up with it. Very confusing. It feels like it's you can't make heads or tails of that energy. And so when you leave that energy behind, blessings come in that yes when you leave that energy behind then it's like all of a sudden things shift very quickly very suddenly magically out of the blue that confusion trying to make sense of something that is just inherently confusing and not meant to be understood uh feels like once you clear whoever has this confusion whoever's creating this confusion things shift around I'm get, I'm retelling the same information I'm not getting anything new there so all right so how to get the most of your month Libra is the high priestess in reverse it feels like secrets Keeping things secret, think, keeping things close to the vest. Not oh wow, the high priestess again in reverse coming up. So doubling down. I meant what I said. <laughs> Spirit saying, keep this to yourself. There's something about this pivot that it feels like. Uh, it feels like. Once you let go of whatever's been holding you back and you make that pivot, not to call attention to it, it's gonna feel good, you're gonna feel really good and blessings coming in, it feels like you could go in your ego and you could just be dying to tell people that you're having a win and that you're feeling good and this is coming in, but what I'm getting is not yet. Let's keep these moves hidden. Let's keep this hidden. It feels like it's not that your blessings can be taken away, but it feels like uh, your blessings come in. And if you make it about your ego, about how great you are, you might be missing the point. 
Um, also, it feels like once the blessings come in, more will be coming in. It wasn't just a blessing, a, ble uh, a desire that's coming in, a wish being fulfilled, but it feels like soul fulfillment, feeling so happy, feeling so joyful, feeling especially com in comparison to where your energy looks like where it has been exhausted, beaten down. And so it feels like uh, give this, allow yourself to enjoy this. You don't have to brag about this. Keep this to yourself. It looks like it looks like you're coming out of uh, you will be coming out of a period of being alone, feeling alone, coming out of that hermit energy. It looks like you're leaving a uh, timeline behind you're it looks like you're not choosing you're not choosing anything where you're dependent or codependent on someone else where there's a, a need or some kind of um, it feels like you're choosing a path of more independence that kind of worded weird. Oh, okay. This pivot point that's happening, it's it feels like it is um it's a timing thing. It looks like it's universal something about the universe it's because of you being willing to make a choice willing to make series of choices of detaching from what you feel like you need but you really don't S clearing away this confusion feels like some of you have not been making a choice, not making decisions, like refusing to make a decision. And so it feels like uh, something shifts and you're able to make a decision. You, whatever was keeping you stuck uh, it is transformed. It looks like it might have been a, a more traditional way of seeing things or some type of traditional structure around you, religion, family, society. It feels like uh, you felt like within the way things were structured, you didn't perceive that you could uh, find your happiness or make a choice, but something changes and clarity comes in and you make a choice that's not your traditional choice. This is uh, very different than uh, previous choices and that's why it's making such a huge impact you're choosing a, a different direction and it's making a, a, a big impact <laughs> it's changing so much your fortunes changing wow okay Libra, what's supporting you in the month of May is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Feels like something, some financial issues that you've worried about or financial worries are coming to an end. And it feels like your finances have been very painful or something around stability, finding stability. And it looks like it looks like you're able to communicate in a very clear way in the month of May. It feels like you're able to uh, 
when it's time, when you've rested, it, you'll make moves and it feels like they're, they'll be very magical. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But it feels like, um, it feels like you, you make a choice, you make a decision, you start a new path even though you perceive that this will be difficult and obstacles, but it feels like it's a lot easier than you expected. It's a lot more magical than you expected. Wow. So that's what's supporting you in the month of May. It feels like um, making a choice, just choosing what you would prefer and uh, it's like the universe backs you, backs your moves, backs your play. Feels like moving away, moving towards sanity, moving towards clarity, moving towards what you desire, moving towards your joy, moving towards what inspires you, what fulfills you, what makes your heart full and excited to be alive. Um, yeah, holy cow. All right, Libra, in the month of May, what to be mindful of is the Nine of Swords in reverse. It looks like getting out of a nightmare. It, in the Nine of Swords, someone is in a nightmare and then they wake up and they're still in a nightmare. It's a never ending nightmare of a situation and there's just enough comfort where they are with the pillow that it's not ten of swords it's tolerable this person stays stuck because of some level of comfort it's it's a nightmare but not enough that this person is willing to make a change they tolerate so what to be mindful of is in the month of May, Libra is tolerating uh, being so uncomfortable in an environment, but not uncomfortable enough to be willing. It feels like you're at this, you're, you, that's the pivot. 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 That's what happens. That's. Okay, now I'm getting, okay, so what's, what's supporting you is finally you've had enough. I feel like you, you, you finally have enough. You, you get to that point. Feels like you've been in this nine of swords nightmare energy, and then you finally get your 10 of swords and that's it. That's it. I've had it, but only you will know it when you've had enough. And it, but you hitting that threshold makes all the difference. You start making different choices because you're not comfortable enough that you can survive this. It feels like you, you stop trying to survive something and decide to go towards where you can thrive in a different direction. Wow. Anything else that? Libra needs to be mindful of in the month of May. Yeah, some hidden, what's hidden is coming to light. There's a lot of, it feels like revelations, not just from the outside. It feels like a lot of this is internal as well. You're recognizing who and what is worth your attention, your time, your love, your care. Again, the Nine of Swords. Interesting. Okay, so it might be, it feels like you're at the Nine of Swords, yet again, that nightmare, and it's blocking you, but you're, you're still in bed, so there's this comfort this is a nightmare, but I, I've got enough comfort here that I'm not willing to do anything about it. And it feels like someone comes in with that 10th sword. Someone comes in and they say something, a communication, 
could be a, a, a written or verbal communication. It feels like someone says something, some last straw happens. And uh, I think you, real, you, you feel your cage, you feel that nightmare that you're in, you realize that's it, I'm, I'm done. Feels like you also see that whoever is delivering this 10th sword they're unapologetic. They, they, I don't feel like this person can even understand that, uh, that you, you're at your limit and one more sword is too much. It feels like, um, feels like whoever's delivering this, there might be, um, they might be challenged by your success. And so they're they're trying to, I don't know, it might be jealousy. They don't like your success. Um, it looks like you've got a great cutoff game <laughs> in May, Libra. Like you're just um, protecting your energy the weight's over again the nine of cups it feels like soul fulfillment feels like once you figure out what's been cause it what you're willing you're not willing to tolerate something you're not willing to stay in a nightmare situation it feels like you're ready to take action take control of the situation and it feels like you you've moved pretty quickly to taking action towards your soul fulfillment. Wow, wow. All right, Libra, that's your reading for the month of May. I hope that was beneficial. I'm going to do an extended reading over on Patreon and continue this reading. If you're still listening, if this has been your story and resonating, uh, you follow the link down below, uh, the extended reading to Patreon, and I'm gonna look at health, relationships, creativity, new opportunities, and career and finance. We're halfway through your reading, Libra. All right, take care.